Paul Brin here in the last 15 minutes of Everything Electric in Vancouver, British Columbia. So, correction, 12 minutes. So I'm going to try to walk the whole floor and show you every vehicle that's here. And uh, given they're closing soon, things are a little less crowded, so it's easier to get a look. Polestar 4, experimental car in the middle there. Let's see what they're calling it. Concept BST, Polestar 3. Okay, yeah, zigzag the whole place, we'll get through this. Vinfast, VF7, VF9, VF8, and VF6. Hyundai, bragging about that they have the next connector, the Jave 3400. Not on this demo model, but they are shipping cars now with it, so they were first and beat everyone else. Ion, a Kona. Ionic N, Tucson, eh, plug-in hybrid, that's a gas engine, Santa Fe, eh, hybrid, all right, let's move along, Ionic 6, all right, all the test drive vehicles lined up in here, it's incredible, the size of the fleet, I actually already did a kind of tour of that area earlier, so let's move along, I'll show you Kia, Nero, Kia EV9, EV6, PHEV, it's also Nero, Sorrento. All right, next, we're working on the back of Infast here. What's to our left? Toyota BZ4X. Lexus. Okay. Another Lexus, the RX, and a whole fleet of GM products over here. We've got the Hummer, <laughs> and another Hummer, an imposing sight, <laughs> especially in person. It's just big. Cadillac, it's a much bigger selection. Than GM had last year. This is the Lyric. Laser EV. Let's get a better look at that. Equinox. I bet the Chicago Auto Show didn't have nearly this many EVs, certainly not many, as many test drive cars. Equinox, this is quite the opportunity to see all the EVs in one place. Corvette, this is a hybrid, the E-Ray, still has a gas engine. Coming around the back, we're going to see two Silverados after we are done with this Blazer EV. Different trim level, bigger wheels. Okay, Chevy Sol Silverado EV. Hood is closed, and then the one with the giant wheels. An impressive, imposing sight. Quick look at the interior. And uh, really incredible lift gate. Step right up. Impressive design there. Okay, let's move along. Where do we go next? I'm going to cover the plane. So, Pipistrel electric airplane. It's called the Velis Electro, used for flight training school. Talking to these guys was a lot of fun. They've got the hood closed back up. And we're coming up on Rivian R1S with the third row folded down. R1T. This 
is a busy booth all week. And the rather popular to see R3 future vehicle, probably about two years out, two plus years out. This would be much more affordable. And uh, the rear profile is pretty cool. A hot hatch finally from Rivian that will be popular. And it will have an export and it may end up on the other side. Now called J3400. In other words, Tesla style port. All right, over here, Mini. The IPV, hello. Uh, Prius Prime. Uh, hybrid and blue force for a uh, ambulance type vehicle here's the drivetrain right on display I love seeing stuff like that here's the motor wow battery packs let's move along Tesla the new performance 2024 model 3 new bucket style seats I see they hug you a lot better and the new LED trim around the edges. The rather distinctive and hard to miss Cybertruck. Things are looking pretty busy here. Tesla the roof. All right, the new Model Y, silver, new silver color. Yeah, back at Kia. All right, Ford. This is Ford's large area here. We have a Mustang. Lightning. Two forty volt. One twenty. Quick peek. All right, that one's powered off. Let's move along to the transit. I think transit announced a bigger range. Longer range, I don't know what they have at this show, but let's move on. We're back at the test drive area, so we're done with that row. Now we're moving on to VW and the ID Buzz. Brings a smile to people's face. ID4. Not this model, anyway. ID4. ID3 hot hatch is what I was hoping to see. And I'm trying to think about what did they change about an ID4. So I've seen one, I don't know, three years ago, filmed a bit of video about one. Okay, moving on here. We've got back at this middle aisle, it is the Nissan Leaf. Aria. Much more modern technology than the Leaf. Another Aria. Okay, that's a look at Nissan. Now it's time for Subaru. Subaru. Looks like to Solterra. Mm -hmm. Solterra, all wheel drive. Nice little tent display, moving along. All right, that's the booth. Now we're in a Tesla custom wraps area. Not just Teslas, but here's one. A lowered Model 3. Model X, the Gullwing doors. Okay, here we've got Canada's EV friendly, evfriendly.ca. Like many booth vendors, they're packing up. EVLC, Electric Vehicle Learning Center. There's a reason. Okay, stop it, boys. On the air and display. VMC. Edison Motors. Okay, I'm going to cover trucks, so it looks like they might be packing up first. I'm going to finish this end. 
an electric loader. I talked to him for a bit on camera earlier. Edison Motors. An E Cascadia. And a Ryzen, which is a Daimler brand. So not available in the US. Another Ryzen where you can see everything on display, battery pack, inverters, see the batteries below there, no tailpipe, GM's bright drop. No representatives from GM, I'm told last year or this year. This is a really cool axle with 70,000 pounds of torque, 483 horsepower times two free series motors. Here's the brake actuators kind of fun to see. I talked to Edison folks quite a bit about that earlier today. There they are doing some last minute video. Peterbilt leading the charge. C-SPAN. All right. Let's see. Did I miss anything? Let's swing around. There's Peterbilt. High voltage orange lines. Another Peterbilt. Electric motor. High voltage lines. Inverter and charge controller stuff. Batteries hidden nicely. Peter belt. All right. Kingston's electric. Oh boy. I got two minutes to finish my walk around. I think I'll actually pull it off. University of British Columbia. Really cool race car. And here's a solar one. Wrapped up for a little protection. From the University of British Columbia. Uh, Lucid. Lucid has taken down their panels, but they're really good. Had an excellent look at their vehicle earlier. The Lucid Air. Mitsubishi Outlander. PHE. Alright. Audi. Q4 e-tron. Let's have a good look at that. Let's move over to a Q4 Sportback e-tron. Finishing the tour. Just the back. Ooh. E-tron GT. And Audi SQ8 Sportback Edition. All right, and that's it. We're at the back of the test drive area. I think um, over here was a BC Hydro exhibit in the back corner. And that concludes the tour at 502. Pretty much pulled it off. He's the new. 40 kilowatt superchargers. Seems like Kyle Connor's gonna need one of those. And here's one of the company cars, of course. An electric lightning. Hopefully you enjoy this tour. And I thank you for watching. Time to head home.